Let me welcome you, my dear students. This is our eleventh learning session of short fictional narrative with B.S. English, third semester. Dear students, let's discuss the outline that today we are going to discuss the feminism and insecurity in a cup of tea. So let's start with this topic: feminism and insecurity. A cup of tea was written by Catherine Mansfield, a prominent modernist writer of short fiction. Her stories focus on moments of disruption and frequently open rather than abruptly. In many her stories, she shows her attitude toward feminism by using a great deal of ironic and exaggerating sentences which leads a humorous sense as well as profound meaning to her stories a cup of tea tells us a short story about a young lady from upper class and a girl beggar when the fashion and rich lady rosemary went out to the antique shop to buy something she met with a girl beggar who asked her for a cup of tea instead of giving her money rosemary brought her back home aiming to model the plots of the fiction and drama however when her husband philip went back home he deliberately phrases or phrased the beauty of the girl beggar and invited her to have a dinner which irritates rosemary for her husbands uh, we simply say that uh, in the uh, the action of her husband irritates her that's why she uh, she or rosemary means finally rosemary sent the girl out by 3 pounds means she just gave her 3 pounds and asked her to leave the home in the ending of the story rosemary asked her husband whether she was beautiful or not in the beginning of the story the author gives us a typical protagonist rosemary a wealthy woman from upper class she lives a very happy and rich life with her husband she was young brilliant extremely modern and exquisitely well dressed amazingly well read in the means she was very good in reading but if rosemary wanted to shop she would go to the paris as you and and i would go to bond street i was those and those and those means she just want some something like she she says i want those and those and those the author uses the above exaggeration description and direct speech to show means just he just want to want to show us how hypocritical and artificial rosemary is in this society as a woman she has no independence and she has no show off by shopping and well dress in the short story we can greatly feel the thought of feminism from three point the first one is about the little box in the antique box means the uh, little box is the antique box and rosemary was attracted by the exquisite little ex- uh, enamel box which cost 28 guineas though 28 guineas is not a big deal for the family but rosemary hesitated and left because she is not permitted by her husband so 28 guineas even if one is rich the sentence reflect the main reason in that 
society uh, females has independence and property so rose mary completely dependent on her husband this if we talk about the second idea means the second reason is rose mary wants to help that poor beggar but she is not allowed by her husband if we talk about the first one means she went to the market and she just want to buy that box but she was not allowed by her husband because she she didn't uh, ask about the box so uh, she was hesitated in buying the uh, that box and she just says that uh, i will buy some other time and she uh, she 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 we simply say that she refused or she leave that box because she was hesitated because she was not permitted by her husband so this point uh, explains about the hesitation and ex- explains about the feminism that she was not dependent she at that time females were not dependent but uh, if we talk about this short story in this short story the female was totally dependent on her husband that she, if she just want to buy that box she first get permission from her husband and then she was able to buy that box so if uh, if we talk about the second reason the second reason is rosemary wanted to help that poor beggar but she is not allowed by her husband means she just want to buy, uh, she just want that girl to help we simply say that she uh, if we talk about the rosemary rosemary is a kind heart female and she just want help want to help that beggar and want to realize that she can also uh, live a good life like her and she uh, she uh, we simply say that uh, she says that she um, she can uh, take tea from her house but she was not allowed by her husband because her husband doesn't feel comfortable with an other lady so uh, it is the second reason which explains about the feminism which what is actually the feminism is feminism is when uh, when a gender uh, simply say that when a gender is uh, being the superior and the other gender is being the inferior so this is called the feminism and in in simple words we can say that when a male gender is represented as a superior or a, a in the center and the other gender means the female or the lady is Uh, uh, is being uh, the inferior one that is called the feminism so uh, we find feminism in it through these uh, reasons the first reason is she cannot buy uh, a box uh, whether she was totally attracted to that box but she w- she hesitated that she is not permitted by her husband the second one is rosemary want to help that poor beggar but she was not allowed by her husband if we talk about the third reason the third reason is when her husband praised the beggar because he does not want the rosemary help that girl and we also find the theme of insecurity through the act of rosemary when she asked the beggar to leave the house she simply uh pay her the uh, pay her the price of the tea and cup of tea and she says that she must leave the house because she was fe- she doesn't say anything but she feels that uh, she was totally insecure from a beggar because she wa- uh, her husband says that that girl is so beautiful means her husband prays the uh, beggar and that's why she was feeling that she is to, uh, she was feeling that she is insecure because she was totally dependent on her husband 
so these were the three reasons through which we find that feminism or we find that a girl is not totally dependent on her so it was about the theme of uh, feminism and insecurity in a cup of tea thank you so much class allah hafiz